All right, so uh, the Night Eagle starting down south. Yep. And the Fadig Bale team will be starting up north. And surprisingly enough, the Fadig Bale team going sticking to their same lineup with those two AMX 50 heavies, three T T69 mediums, and of course that lull tractor, and of course that last T1. Well, yeah, the Night Eagles reverting back to uh, their original tank selection that uh, they opened up with uh, on uh, Abbey, pretty much. So uh, three IS-3s, uh, one T30. Two, one MX-50 as well, so all like big guns pretty much. And right now, well, the Night yeah. Eagles going for uh, what appears to be uh, not a help push, but uh, we've seen uh, that tactic before actually, you know, going yeah. east uh, of that uh, Central Park area pretty much. No, they're committing like one tank to the hill. Oh, but actually, the uh, but team yeah, going for, going for the, the railway. railway. So they're yeah. like just basically, kind of mirroring yeah, each yeah other. They're, they're like sort of going opposite sides here. Uh, the uh, Fadig Bell side, so they, they left spotted. one MX-50 yeah. uh, pretty much to defend uh, that Eastern Park area. And right now, the T1 spotting uh, the enemy push here uh, down the railroads. So, uh, yeah, so right we'll now, have to see, yeah, yeah they're, 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 they're going to have to decide to retreat here because yeah. uh, uh, you know, you know what? If I were the Night Eagles, like I definitely wow, just so they come took back. Out that T1 scout. Yeah, yeah the T1 scout is gone. Heavily, like, yeah, well, the, the Night base. Eagles having no other option but to come back yeah. because they only have heavy tanks, so they have to defend this. Now that's going to allow the MX-50 from the Fadig Bell side to actually just comfortably squat the middle of Central Park here and actually take a, a, a sniping position. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so actually, cover yeah, the flank yeah, he'll uh, actually of their be able to get so some uh, shots off at, on the retreating. Night yeah, you know what? I want to give a slight edge to uh, Fadig Bell here. Uh, uh, yeah. Just a, a never slight edge. They, they, they are a little bit more spread out than the Night Eagles team. The Night Eagles are, are fairly right, close they, they, together. They, were, they actually did manage to reach cover down on the southern part of the city without being challenged. Huh. So uh, that's definitely going to work to their advantage to a certain degree. I mean, obviously, it's all going to come down to this firefight, but uh, they do have that Amos 50 uh, lurking as a sniper out there in the field as well. So uh, yes, uh, once again, uh, it's all about execution here. But in terms of positioning, look at that. Fadig Bell, like uh, three tanks on one here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely three tanks on one up. You know, they're pushing now towards that and Night Eagles we, base. And we said, like, the NMX-50 now, who's finally proceeding down south on the Fadig Bell side, and uh, he's going to be able to provide, um, you know, a cover fire yeah. from the rear as well. Like, he's coming behind that T-32, so uh, that's probably going to work to his advantage as well. Now, Fadig Bell, uh, definitely, well, it's a close fire fight, if you ask me. Yeah, actually, but the Night Eagles now taking a lot of damage. Same with Fadig Bell, that Fadig yeah, Bell indeed. takes what, yeah, one tank of One T-69 going down, one S3 going down uh, on each side. Ooh, Ooh, Fadig yeah. Bell losing another T69 oh, here. Oh wow, but Fadig Bell not looking good right now. They are losing tanks left yeah, and right. Yeah, they are losing l uh, tanks left and right here. Uh, just, uh, you know, that their flanking maneuver has actually backfired on them. Like, it was a superb defensive play uh, by the Night Eagles. I yeah. really, really am impressed uh, by their composure because they were really under the gun. Yeah, so actually... We're taking a look now at another tank yeah, being taken going, down. Yeah, another tank going down on the Fadig Bell side. So this is pretty much going to do it. Uh, yeah. Once again, a very, very impressive response oh, wow, uh, coming from the Night Eagles. This actually, this T69 takes out that opposing one I, IS-3. Uh, so it's definitely not going to be enough. But though, uh, I mean, <laughs> he, you know, you've got yeah, exactly. And, and besides, he's facing one MX-51 IS-3 and one T32. What yeah. can you do? Yeah, there's pretty much nothing that this last T69 can do. Yet he, he does have that uh, life tractor up there trying to. Uh, no, it's not capturing the base. The the Night Eagles are actually capturing the enemy base, the Night Eagles base right now. So, yeah. yep, that this last tank do gets it. taken out. 